love what I love about this truck is my refrigerator. Having a refrigerator is clutch. You know what I'm saying? It's stacked real interestingly, but it's clutch. Right here you see what I call the workout plan. You know what I'm saying? What you're gonna see in this video today or tonight, whenever you watching, is basically what it's like for me working out. I go walk around whatever truck stop I'm parked at. I do resistance band work from curls to arm raises, you know what I'm saying? Trying to keep my arms as straight out in front of me as I possibly can. Um, the resistance band I work with is like a 20 pound resistance band. So, you know, it, it come in clutch for the most part. Um, and I jump rope, I do jumping jacks, do crunches on my bed. It's all kind of little stretching that I do also with the resistance man. But mostly being that I'm a truck driver, you know what I'm saying? I sit down, I mean, I sit down all day at work while I'm driving. So mostly what I do is I just get up and try to be active in some way. Walking two, three, four laps around whatever truck stop I'm parked at. You know what I'm saying? Doing these resistance man workouts that y'all gonna see in this video. Um, you know, doing dumbbell curls, well, I was doing them at the house before I started with this company I'm with, Pride, but I got to get some dumbbells and have them on the truck so that I can do my dumbbell workouts and keep them arms toned and work on my chest. Um, but I know that from previous experience, whether it's driving buses previously or driving big rigs previously, sitting all day for work, you know what I'm saying? You tend to sit all day for work, stuff your face, and then when you get home, lay straight the fuck down. But, you know, that ain't good for nobody. So, I'm of the position that because I have a family, I have to protect and provide. I have young kids, an 11 year old son and an almost three year old daughter. I gotta be around for a minute. So, just sitting around and eating till I'm blue in the face ain't good. Like, at one point earlier this year, I was down near like 260 pounds. Then I got down to like 235, 240, and now I float back and forth between like 235 and 245. So, you know, hitting that plateau, like, it's frustrating, but at the same time, like, I appreciate it because I know where I was, like, getting to the point where I was so damn heavy I'd rather just slip on all my shoes and not tie them type shit like looking at you know the possibility of wearing velcro shoes instead of shoes you gotta tie but you know it is what it is so for me my kids and my health is the main reason I start exercising but then I also got somebody that is important to me that's getting married in October this year and I ain't trying to be the fat dude in the tux where, you know, the tuxes is supposed to look fitted or slim fit, but I'm looking like I'm wearing a fitted bed sheet because I'm big than a motherfucker. Like, that's out. So, I'm really trying to watch what I eat, be active as possible, and um, dedicate myself to it and make a real life change and be as healthy as possible. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get the working out in the truck and the jumping jacks and the jump rope and things of that nature. Like, I'm really trying to put my best foot forward and let my other foot come behind and come behind strong. So let's go on and watch these young workouts. Let's go on and get it. Watch this. I was doing this just messing around, but it actually felt really good. Like... It was almost kind of like bench pressing, which I probably would never really be able to do the same way that I used to be able to do because I shattered my elbow in March of last year and my left elbow was completely like reconstructed. Six screws, a plate, a pin, and a rod. You know what I'm saying? Again, walking is the key to what I do because not being funny but i see truckers like this man and people bigger than him and yeah 
they may have health problems and if they have health problems i hope that they're doing the best they can to keep them in check but at the same time like Sometimes when it comes to truckers, it be a thing about being lazy and not putting forth the effort. But I hope that everybody that's like me that's out here in the trucking industry is being active and getting after it. Like, I know we all got families we trying to feed. And that that trucking company, you just saw that trucker? Man, one of their drivers just almost hit me the other day, bro. Like, zooming through a parking lot where you're not supposed to zoom through it. Like... Everybody shouldn't have a license, but everybody should definitely get reevaluated if they do got a license. You feel me? But it is what it is. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm out.